What's up, everybody? My name is Chicks in 2008. I, no, no, my name is Thomas Fan 221 Today, this is a video just to get some stuff off my chest. So uh, let's get right into it. So first off, um, yeah, I know the quality is crap, but whatever. It doesn't matter. But uh, it's just to talk about like, well, well, it's just to talk about like how, how dumb, like how, how stupid the just just how just, just how stupid just stuff has been in general like these last few months like if you guys have even remotely watched the news last few months there's been it's all been about um trump taking over taking over trying to destroy democracy or whatever and republicans trying to destroy democracy and also there's been supply chain issues we are going to eventually run out of food and people are saying that there's a big supply chain issue. Ships have been stopped. Ships have been basically stranded out of sea for months. And trucks have been left vacant because no one is working because people are falling on unemployment. And they're getting paid more if they than if they actually worked. Do, do you think that's stupid? Because I can't be the only one. I, I'm probably, I, and I am not the only one. And trust me, there are so many other people who are clearly baking out the issue, but they, they decide to do nothing about it. This is this is what's gonna happen. Eventually, uh, it's gonna crack. Eventually, it's going. It, eventually, this is going to crack. Eventually, this is going to implode on itself. You know what I mean? It's gonna crack. It's gonna fall through the seams. And this is, it, it just shows like. Well, where we're at right now COVID is not going to end anytime soon it's a fact and I can tell you this by you know the fact that it's a flu okay and remember uh, well you probably no one remembers but if you learn about history you would know that the flu used to be a vi it used to be the worst virus that would kill you but now that but it sticked around for like, almost a century I believe like the not a hundred percent sure, but it's been like two, three centuries. It's been like at least two, a few centuries since that, and it's still around today. It still kills people. It's still, I mean, it's still killing a few people. But usually, if you get it, you you'll recover in a week. And usually, if you get your flu shot, you won't get it at all. You know. And should we treat COVID that way? I think so. I in the future when COVID becomes less of a problem, it needs to be in the background because people are worried that they're going to get COVID and die even though that there's no reason there's absolutely no reason for it I'm I'm so done I'm done I can't I can't do this anymore there's absolutely no reason for this this crap bullshit that I that me and everyone else has to deal with supply chain issues now I might just be rambling but I know you guys maybe are not into politics, but just tell me this right now. How many times in the last few months have you heard about heard about something going on with Trump? Or it just it just doesn't make any sense. Like I, I can't do this anymore. Like there's no reason that it should be this bad. Honestly, there's no reason. We should have had this figured out by now. But we are led by morons who don't know how to run a country. Who don't know how to run this country. And that's going to be a problem. That's a huge problem. And it's going to keep going undetected. And it's going to cause... Uh, it's going to cause a massive collapse. It's going to cause a collapse. Eventually, the it's just going to cause a collapse. Because, first of all, people are not going to get food. Or basic supplies that they need. You see how this is going to be a problem. But they don't... They, they're not going to do anything about it until it's too late to fix we need to fix this now or it's going to affect us in the long term and in the long term this is going to be severely affected we need more people working on the trucks working bringing supplies from trucks and boats you know what in fact when i get older i i want to be a tr i'm going to become a trucker so i can help people so that I, people can get their food right right i I'm sorry, I, I know, I, I kind of rambled on, but it's just, I don't know anymore, honestly, I, I'm done, like, I'm done, I'm done with dealing with this, 
I'm done with, I'm just done with politics, okay? Politics, it, the freaking politics are ruining, the, the, our leaders are ruining this country in the American dream, okay? Get it. So, sorry if I rambled on a little bit in that video. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit. Okay, I'm going to tell you this more calmly now, so you guys can more understand. What I'm trying to say is that it's just going to become a big issue if, we don't fix this. We need to take action now. I mean, okay, just search up online, guys, supply chain issues, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's all these articles talking about how this could be a massive, there's a supply chain, there's a massive supply chain issue, and are they going to do anything about it? Probably not. I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. So, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Sub and like. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, baby. Peace, home dogs.